What is up everyone, Sean here and welcome to my impressions for the beta that I played for Battlefield 5. Uh, really got to got a chance to like really you know sit down and play both versions for the PC and the PS4 version uh, when this beta came out. So I was able to play with friends, uh, put a pretty good amount of time so I feel like I can you know sit down and really talk about it now, now that the chance. I uh, wanted to bring Danny along, but uh, he's pretty busy nowadays, so uh, or at least you know he's coming a few weeks, so uh, he couldn't make it. So uh, it's just gonna be me, and you're gonna probably see um, some random gameplay from the beta that I play with friends, and I uh, just wanted to sit down and talk about it. So uh, I'm gonna break it down to what I liked and what I didn't like about the game. Uh, simple as that. So here we go. So of course this is uh, just impressions. They'll probably change over time. This is a beta. I mean, you never know. They'll probably do an overhaul or something. But who knows? There's been cases where it has never happened. Uh, especially if this, if this is the dice we're talking about. So, anyways, um, based off of the beta, uh, what I liked about for um, Battlefield Five is my fr finally my first time playing it. Uh, I haven't played it at any other uh, place or whatever, like E3 or whatever. What I liked about the game was the graphics. Uh, obviously, it looks good. Um, I do like the lighting on the PS or uh, uh, the PC version, excuse me. And um, I put it everything on ultra and ran great. Um, the lighting, and everything ran great. And it's you know a uh, pretty game for the most part. But uh, graphically, if we're talking about that, uh, the water looks a little weird. Uh, but you know, of course, this is a beta, so maybe that could change. But um, not that it's super, super important, but, you know, it would be nice, and I've been playing games with a lot of pretty water as of late, really, really, really beautiful water as of late, especially, you know, especially with Sea of Thieves a while back, and all the other, all that other stuff, so, um, uh, that kind of, like, you know, made, made me, gave that impression, but anyway, um, for the most part, the graphics look good, um, at least from the maps I've seen and all the effects and stuff like that, um, looks pretty good so far, at least visually. Anyway, so on so on that part, it's pretty good for the most part. I think they're pretty good in the graphics department, especially on PC. Ran, uh, again, it ran pretty great. Uh, what I also liked about the game was the gunplay. Um, shooting people felt really good. I felt satisfying. Um, I actually, you know, wanted to, you know actually go back to playing the PS4 version, or not go back, but go to the PS4 version just to try it out, but just for, also for the sake of just uh, hitting people, you know, um, just taking down people, it's just, something about it just very satisfying, I think they were able to do, nail that part really good, um, all the little sounds when you hit people and ki uh, kill them and get like double or triple kills or, you know, anything quadruple or anything like that it's just very satisfying and all the little scores and experiences that you can you gain from it it's just it just adds more to it and it's just it pretty much like a cherry on top and i think they well, overall did a pretty good job on that um maybe some of the sniping might um uh, may need some work i don't know uh i feel i felt like at times you know i i should have hit the target but uh it just kind of somehow flew over their head or something uh, but that's you know just a couple of instances like that. Maybe they'll uh, tweak around the hitbox or whatever, or just a sniping part. But I don't know. Um, that's just my personal thing that I felt from uh, when I was whenever I, I was I was sniping. Uh, next thing I did like about the um, the game from the beta was the reinforcement system. I don't know what it's officially called, but it essentially uh, uh, has you gather a lot of points from your squad and the squad leader gets a call and essentially point streaks from I would say Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 that's what it kind of reminds me of since you just build it up over time and you don't really you know you don't have to um, you know get that all over again in case you die it's just it, it just keeps building up and up so it's, it's um, cumulative uh, points over time and once you get enough points you can call in like the V2 rocket or uh, what was it um uh, like a heavy tank, and um, of course the smallest one, the smallest uh, kill streak or point streak you can get out of it is like a resupply or whatever. They drop you like a little crate, you get health out of it, or maybe ammo or whatever. Um, I think it's just health for the most part. I, I got a lot of uh, health stuff out of that whenever I use it. 
but yeah, you, you like you know, um, it is satisfying to be able to get the uh, the V uh, two rocket and just call it out and blow people up like that and stuff like that. So um, that uh, unfortunately is essentially it for the parts I liked, and unfortunately my dislikes appear to be bigger than my likes so far. Um, other than maybe I don't know the yeah the gunplay is okay, but. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the parts that I dislike. That my dislikes involve with, uh, let's get the minor one out of the way, which is the menu. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the menu. Um, I, um, I tolerate it, but I definitely would like to see improvement upon it. And it feels like, you know, it kind of feels like a mobile app. Like it, you know, there's a lot, a lot of these squares or whatever. And it, not, not to, uh, not to mention. Why is Armory and Company two separate things? I feel like if you're going to go to the Armory, you should be able to upgrade your weapons. And then Company would be like something to upgrade your soldier. Like your actual soldier visual stuff. Like maybe the skin color or how you look. Like you want to be Asian or white or black or whatever. Whatever, you want, whatever ethnicity you want for a soldier. Male or female, whatever, right? Um... And also maybe like set up your squad settings or something like that. That's that would kind of make sense, right? So, but it's like your I I I kind of forgot what the armory was. Um, honestly, and your uh, company is where you mainly do your upgrades and stuff like that. And so, um, I don't know. I, I feel like that was really weird. And not to mention, also one of the biggest things I don't like about the menu is that whenever you uh, unlock something you have to actually back out of the game uh, really like you have to back out of the multiplayer and then go to the go to your company and then start upgrading that way instead of being able to upgrade in between the games um, every other first person shoot online super person shooter especially with Call of Duty has done this uh, many a times now and I don't know I just don't know why they done that it's very uh, it, it just takes you out of the immersion. It takes you out of the momentum. It's like, oh, you know, I want to keep going. I want to keep upgrading my weapons and stuff like that. I want to keep, you know, um, you know, shooting people in the battlefield and stuff like that. It's, it, it's just, it's such a, it's just such a boner kill, I guess you can call it. Or it, it, it just really kills the momentum. You know what I mean? Like, you just gotta keep. You just, if you want to keep playing, you gotta just keep playing with the weapons you got and. Uh, if you you know if you want to start using the new guns that you locked or start upgrading your guns or whatever to make them uh, better, you have to back out like fully back out of the menu or back out from the multiplayer and then again go to the, whatever the menu you need to go to, which is your company. It's it's I don't know it's just, it just feels cumbersome and I really wish that they uh, let you upgrade it once uh you know and once you are done upgrading you just hit continue and boom you're back in the game back into the back uh back and you go uh go into the next match so it really is uh you know a very very big complaint for me as well uh as well as other people so uh the next thing i did not like about uh, the beta is the four man squad i really wish it would uh, bring it up to at least six it just makes sense um, it really, uh, I feel like it would really limit how many people can play at a time, in my opinion. Um, if you especially want to, you know, have a lot of people with you and stuff like that, um, I feel like six people is definitely a good number for each squad. And, uh, I mean, yeah, sure, you'll have less squads, but it just makes more sense, right? Because, um, especially if you have a lot of friends that like Battlefield, they should be able to play with you and stuff like that. Um, you're really limited to four, and it's just it, uh, it, it actually even put it, put us in a situation where, you know, we had you know um, we had one uh, one guy over, and so um, uh, one of us just had to essentially wait until that per uh, one of us was done or whatever, or wanted to take a break, and then we and then that person can switch in to um, be part of the squad or whatever. So I, I feel like um, four man is just not enough. Uh, six people per squad is I think is a really sweet number to go off of. Um, that's just I, I don't know. That's just me though. And uh, at least or at least like a multiple of sixty four. <laughs> so um, if you want to do the math, I guess maybe uh, six might be uh, might not be a, might 
not be a good number maybe maybe uh maybe eight you know eight is definitely a multiple of uh, or 64 is a multiple of eight so um that definitely could work you have eight squads per uh on each side and um that, that, that would definitely work uh, that's just i don't know that's just uh that again that's just me though uh that uh, well, that would be pretty cool instead of having four double do, double up the squad or double up the the people per squad but yeah uh, that's just another complaint uh that i would like to see change uh they, they would it would they were able to do that for battlefield uh or battlefront uh one for the star wars series from dice and um that, i felt like that felt like that was that was better on that part so they could definitely do that they, and still it's not gonna you know, break the game's floor by any means it's just you're just gonna have few, fewer squads which is um okay in my opinion but anyways uh next one that i didn't like about uh battlefield 5 from the beta anyway is just the lack of vehicle mayhem as i like to put it battlefield was well very well known for its vehicles and of course the quantity of vehicles on uh on the field I remember the last time it was it like that was Battlefield 4. There was there was a ton of vehicles and there were a good amount of vehicles on the actual field. Um, especially and also back in the day where um, uh, I first played Battlefield, which was uh, Battlefield 1942 with World War II and all that stuff. Um, there were a lot of factions. There were a lot of vehicles. There were a lot of wep a good amount of weapons, and you had a lot of. A uh, good amount of vehicles on the field, like actually active and stuff like that, and shooting up people, and, and it really made it uh, a lot more chaotic that way. It felt more like a large-scale war. But now here, you only have like two or something um, on the battlefield, one from each side. You have like a tank, a, a plane, you know. It just feels very, it just feels a lot more empty, and uh, there is a bigger emphasis on the human, uh, like gun, to, um, you know, man to man gun combat, which is good. But I feel like they should up the uh, ante with um, the vehicles. I think it's this all started since from like maybe Harline or something, and it it carried on uh, to what was it? Um, uh, Battlefront, and then uh, again with Battlefront 2, of course, which had its um, it had a ton of problems, and um, unfortunately, it feels like that way with this game. Um, it just it just feels empty. It it really lacks that ba Battlefield character that I've um, grown up with over the years. Uh, when I was since I was younger, you know, ever since I was a uh, yeah. Uh, what was it? Early teenager or whatever. That's when I started playing these games, and I love that. I ever, I really like that. Um, it really separated a lot of the itself from a lot of the the first person shooters online. You know, especially with Call of Duty. And you know that. And I feel like Call of Duty is good for the you know the gunplay and stuff like that. And Battlefield is good for just the large scale nature of war. But now that it lost, it's it's lost a lot of uh, a good chunk of that at least, and so it just really lacks that battlefield esque feel to it um, from back in the day. So I really feel like they should really up the uh, the vehicles and stuff, and um, uh, hopefully there's gonna be a good variety of vehicles too, like battleships and. Um, more tanks, more planes. Um, hopefully, we can see the B-52 make it in there, which is you know a very iconic plane for World War II. It you know laid a lot of bombs down on on the battlefield. So um, it definitely needs more of that, more vehicle uh, vehicular combat or vehicular warfare. Definitely more on that, please. That's what, in my opinion, makes um, battlefield battlefield. So. It, it, and um, uh, it's lacking that right now, so just uh, it just really does not feel like a true battlefield for now. So hopefully that changes as well. Um, one of the biggest complaints I would like to say also for my next dislike is the credit system. Um, this you know it has been a big characteristic from the uh, recent games from Dice and. Um, uh, especially, especially with the Battlefront games, and it really dumbs it down, and it also 
um, would make it feel a lot more repetitive that way uh, since since you have to not only use it for the visual upgrades which eventually want, you kind of want to do but it also uses that for the actual upgrades for your guns and also like everything else too that you, that you want to buy in the game with in-game currency it just uses only one currency so instead of using upgrade points or whatever and then using visual points for or cosmetic points whatever you want to call it it's all in one of course so that way um that means they really want you to keep playing and playing and playing that's like the their way of trying to keep you playing the game instead of um putting in more content or having more content off the start they're just make forcing you to play more to unlock the stuff that's you know only available uh you know off the start or whatever so it, it's just uh it's just um I don't want that in that in in, uh, in a battle game, and it's just really really unfortunate. So um, that's yeah, I don't know that it's uh, looking bad bad on that part. But um, hopefully they'll maybe at least give you a lot of currency, like a lot of a lot of currency per match or whatever. Then that would be that would balance things out. Um, that would pre be pretty good. But um, you, not to mention, you have to also level up enough to upgrade this, uh, to be able to unlock it in the store for you to buy. So not only have to unlock it uh, after leveling up, you still have to buy it from the store. So that's very unfortunate. So uh, at least I, that's what I remembered anyway. If, you, if that's incorrect, please cor uh, correct me in the comment section below. Um, one last thing I would like to complain about. Um, for my next dislike is that the PS4 version has a very wonky lighting system. Um, from my experience, in comparison to the PC version, it's, it's just very lopsided. Um, when it comes to the PS4 version, um, I, I you know I don't I don't mind a controller at all because that's what I play anyway on the PC. I played on both pad and. Um, uh, both controller and the mouse and keyboard, so just to you know get get a better impression of it. But on the PS4, um, you know, there's you know the controls and stuff felt flying. Um, I or uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention about the vehicles. Uh, the vehicle control could use some work. But anyways, um, the back back onto the PS4 version, the lighting is very wonky. Um, what I mean by that was um, from what I played. The um, the differences between dark and light is just so just all over the place. Like uh, whenever I go into a building or a house, it's very dark inside, and yet when I look outside, it's just so it's like bright white. I can't see, you know, to save my life. So I I, I don't know if it was my TV or not, but um, but that wasn't the case because everyone else was complaining about the same thing too. Like just people in my squad were complaining about the same thing he's like oh my god i can't see inside the house and um you have to be like actually out of the house just to be able to see you can't just like look out of the window and and try to be uh the lookout from the um the house because of the lighting system for some reason like if you're inside a dark place like a, a house or building then it just the game decides oh let's just brighten up the lighting uh for the outside especially for a bright white setting like um the snow level of i think it was called narvik or something the whatever the no the uh, Nor norwegian map was or whatever um that definitely brought out that problem so I, I they really need to fix the uh the lighting issue for the ps4 version anyway um because um that definitely is going to have a bigger player base i guarantee that and um you're gonna so you're gonna have a lot more people complain about that and that definitely should be fixed by the time the game comes out. So, um, the console version, or at least for the PS4 version anyway, has very, in, like, the balance for the lighting is very off. So, uh, they really need to look into that. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much the li likes and dislikes um, that I have for the game here. And there's there are a couple of things I do want to say about the game. It's just... I really, I really do feel very cautious about this game, and I have um, um, some doubt for it because uh, for the past few, um, past recent games from Dice, it's been very, very subpar um, 
experiences, especially with the Battlefront uh, games. I, re- I know I'll, I kept wishing that Battlefront played like the Battlefield games, just with Star Wars vehicles and weapons and stuff. But then comes Battlefield, right? And you think, you think, oh, you know, it's just gonna be Battlefield, so it's just gonna be good, right? But so look, it's just looking so far, it's just not the case here. Um, if you, especially if you look at the uh, past few games, it kind of just adds up and really tells you that you know the game could just come out with very lacking content. And now it will have a single player, sure, single single player campaign, that's great and all. But the multiplayer side, that's where more people are going to be playing um, over time, right? So, you gotta really, you know, up the ante with the content. Um, I I remember back, you know, the most recent uh, Battlefield I played, which was Battlefield 1. And um, it was okay. It was pretty fun, but there was not really a whole lot to it um, after a couple weeks, right? Because there were... There are like there's pretty much like no no other factions um like the what like where's the Russians where's the Japanese you know what I mean they're like where's the rest of the all the other countries Italians um I don't know Fr- uh, I think French was in there or and then of course there was British I uh maybe American but I I don't really remember that well. It, it, but it definitely did not have Japan, Russia, which is really weird. I feel like Russia is a big part of the European theater or European war of World War Two, but they're not there. But um, uh, or excuse me, World War One. Um, but no less, they're they were <laughs> they're not there uh, along with the Japanese stuff. And um, I don't know. I just really hope that they come out with more guns um which also they lacked because i don't know um it there were even though it was world war one there was still more world war one weapon world war one weapons that could have been added into the game and yet they just didn't and um the, you know Battle, i'm gonna go back to battlefield 4 that had a lot of guns that had a lot of vehicles that had a lot of um stuff on the actual battlefield and it just feels like the these um, newer games just lack that. So, um, a lot of you know Battlefield fans can probably tell you the same thing, and I I, I believe it. I definitely believe that. Um, I really feel it too. So, um, I really want this game to be good. Um, this is the World War Two game on the PS4. From I mean, that's Battlefield, not Call of Duty World War Two. Um, it's you know, it's something I really wanted to look forward to, but right now it seems like it's just a, it's just in a very shaky state right now, and there was a reason why they delayed in the first place. It really seems like they're really trying to work something out, but right now, um, if they're gonna rep- um, present it like this, and I'm not gonna even complain about the all those glitches and stuff like that I've seen, because it could be fixed in the beta, but again, you know, um, there needs to be fixes as well. Uh, there's a whole glitch with your man looks your character looks like it's hanging from in midair with your with your butt sticking up because I don't know that's the way the physics work in that game is just weird with that engine but anyway um, besides all those visual bugs and whatever they need to fix that's definitely a priority but that's probably that um, not the need to be then mentioned really i think what really needs to be mentioned is the way the menu works the way you unlock stuff um the content to unlock stuff there needs to be more of it there needs to be more vehicles definitely um there needs to be more weapons there's definitely a lot of weapons in world war ii and it seems to be just lacking that too like man um I, i also hope you know, customizing your soldier will be a cool experience, right? Because um, um, this game is getting... Yeah, it, it, it visually looks good, right? So I, I feel like, you know, that would be the ch- cherry on top for the most part. And uh, But, yeah, the guns, the vehicles, the credit system really needs to be reworked. Um, the menu interface and stuff like that it needs to be reworked. Um, gunplay is fine. The actual like basic gameplay is fine. The reinforcements, of course, could use some. Uh, could use more. Um, we could use more 
artillery, use battleships even for um, the reinforcement system. That could be pretty sick. Uh, I feel like this should be um, you should be able to look over the map and then point your target. That'd be pretty cool instead of having to look through your binoculars and then point at the building and then because it's, it's very hard to position yourself at times and then uh, set up the V2 rocket um, point whatever to um, to blow up whatever or to attack um, but whenever it works it's very satisfying sure but I hope um, there is another way to do it uh, obviously you don't uh, you don't have to uh, it shouldn't cover the entire map whenever you look at it sure uh, it should be like you should be able to like you know you dep depending on you know, where you are and stuff like that it just shows you only that part of the map uh, within its range so shows you like a little circle um, point your little clicker and stuff like that and then boom you know what I mean um, kind of like how sort of like how um, the lightning strike works in the black ops games except uh, you should be able to you know just look closer into that area depending on where you are like really fine point it and just point it um, click it point and click at it and that's where the rockets gonna land so that's how it should work I know it's World War II and all but it's you know it's supposed to be a like it's basically supposed to be based off of war two but it's a video game so it's like it should kind of step over those boundaries i don't know i just feel like it's a little, a little easier that way but that's just my take on it but yeah anyway um just the game just means it definitely needs more it needs more meat on the bone and uh, hopefully uh we can see a good amount of content off the launch but um the D the dlc content is free i believe so uh that's good but that's doesn't give them the excuse to really have the game to be bare bones because um people they really need to convince people to buy the game off the start otherwise there's gonna be other games there's plenty of other games for the holidays and they're just gonna go to that because probably the content there is unlocked there's more to do off the start and that's you know that's the holidays for you um people can only buy so many games and if this game doesn't have enough off, off the start especially with money being needed for dlc for other games you're gonna be left in the dust if that doesn't happen for battlefield um you know when i mean you i mean uh, i mean the developers so if the developers don't you know keep up with the content off the start at launch again you're gonna be left in the dust so as my concern for it, I'm cautious for now. I do like I do like some of the things about it, and I really do hope and hope to see um, Battlefield 5 flourish and be a, some of at least meet some good success. But it's just I don't know. It's looking really shaky, and I'm very afraid that it's probably gonna fail. Just like um, how Battlefront and Battlefront 2 uh failed because the lack of content so it really feels like a digital platform for now but um as other people have complained about and it's like a hollow former shell of its i don't know it's a shell of its uh, former self it's what it feels like for battlefield but anyways uh that's uh i think that's enough talking for me and um that's my impressions from the beta of battlefield 5 it's a beta so it could change, but there, there, there are cases where that's pretty much what you get, and that's what happened with the Battlefront games. So if this if this pattern stay, uh, stays consistent, then that means what we saw from the beta is what we're gonna get for for um, for the launch of the game. But now I I I think we're gonna get more guns. But even if we get more guns, it seems like we're it appears to be like 35 guns, which is very small comparing to what Battlefield 4 came out with at the start. So, anyways, that's just my t take on it, my my impressions again, and um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it for what it what for what it was. Um, and if you have any comments or opinions about uh, the beta from Battlefield 5 and what your how you feel about it, leave it down below. Love to check them out. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the, the video uh, to the channel. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, really appreciate it. Really means a lot. And hopefully, again, Battlefield Five 
doesn't come out like this, but in my back of my mind, I have a feeling that it might turn out some uh, something similar to this, but we'll see. We're going to wait and see for November since they did delay it. So, anyways, I mean, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my impressions on the Battlefield 5 beta. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.